Pleasure. Back? Well, if there's anything else you'd wish to share, then I'm all ears. Oh, is this for me? I am pleased. Did... Uh, did she want to have a conversation? Any other things to keep you up at night? Well, there was this one time when I was young. I, er, uh, <laughs> tried playing a prank on Raggedy Shira. I would climb into her room from the roof and then tuck a frog into her sheets while she was sleeping. <laughs> Ooh, nice one! How'd that turn out? When I got there, she was nowhere to be found. Not in her bed, and not in her bathroom. I decided to head back to bed, but then, right as I was about to fall asleep, I heard a voice. You would make far too much noise for someone trying to sneak around. And there she was, sitting on my bed. Out pranked by my mentor. It gave me quite a shock. Whoa. That's actually pretty cool. That old woman's got skills. Ah, you're back. Sorry, I... I did not see you there. Thank you, Squire. I... I am starting to feel better already. In your hair. Hello again. again Hey, Val. Are you okay? I've been better. You miss her, huh? Yeah. When I left home this morning, I brought her helmet with me. Don't know why I did. Force of habit, I guess? I still catch myself just talking to her, waiting for a reply. It really is just an empty helmet now. 
I'm here for you, Vel. Th thanks. Let's... let's talk about something. Maybe it'll help keep my mind off of all of this. Hey, what's up? Need anything? Princess, you studied a lot of stuff about Cerulea, right? Why, of course. From history to higher economics, it is a princess's job to know as much about her kingdom as possible. So, you'd probably know about myths, then. Myths? <laughs> Only fools believe such things. They are but fabricated tales meant to stir up the imagination of little children in a futile attempt to make life seem a bit more interesting. Aww, but stories like that are fun! Where's your sense of adventure? Real life is already stressful enough as it is. I don't need tales of ghosts and dragons to complicate matters. Though, I suppose such stories do contribute to Cerulean culture. Yeah! Like the myth about Baglatoris, the five-breasted demon with teeth all over her vagina! Except that one. That contributes nothing. Really? But that was the coolest one! It explains where the seas come from! Whoever made that story was probably inebriated, or in desperate need of a woman's affection. Probably both. Aw, you're no fun. Squire, I shall remember this. Doterra, Terra. Oh, oh. Uh, greetings. Princess, with all the stuff that's been happening lately, I just wanted to ask. What exactly is your reason for being here in Alcas? My... reason? Yeah. You know, your plans for the future. That is a good question. Well, as an Alcosi princess, much of my life has already been planned. However, I hope to be able to do as much as I can to change such things. This diplomatic mission is only the first step into accomplishing my plans for the future. Once our countries are allied, I will be treading new ground, both as a princess and as an ambassador to Cerulea. Hopefully, my efforts would pay off. But truth be told, I simply want to be able to do more for Alcos. Just take a look at Shira. 
There is a woman who has risen far above her station. If I can be anything like her, I... That is... That is really all I want. Well, just know that I'll be rooting for you, princess. Thank you. this gesture. You are a very thoughtful squire. again. Bro, this is really awesome. Thanks for the birthday gift. Bookworm. Oh, cool. That's good to know. Is there any particular kind of book they should like? Doesn't matter. As long as we read together. That's actually kind of sweet. Yes, and very relaxing. Been working up a sweat. Bugs! I hate bugs! Uh, really? Yes, there's just something really gross about them. Moving around on their spindly legs with their antennae sticking out. That's the worst part! They can fit in anywhere! They can slip in your clothes, your food, your bed! Ah, nowhere is safe! <laughs> I actually used to prank novels by slipping spiders into their clothes. <gasps> You're a terrible, terrible person! Why would you do that? No one deserves that fate! You're evil! Evil!
Glad you could make it, kiddo. I thought you'd forget. Me? Forget free beer? Heck no. Y you are paying for it, right? Yes, I've got to make you listen somehow. Hey, hey, what's going on over here? Oh, nothing, boss. Just having a drink with my squire. Mind if I join you? The night's been kind of slow. Sure thing. Welcome aboard, boss! So, what's there to talk about? Why don't we start with this? How's your first month of training? It was tough, you. Tougher than I imagined. But somehow I pulled through. I showed great skill. I feel like I'm full of potential! And I think it's time to turn that potential into a reality. You? I'm ready to be a knight. Ha! Nope. Oh, come on! If you think it only takes a month, kiddo, you're sorely mistaken. Well, you tried. Before you even think about rising through the ranks, let's see if you've been performing well. Well? This... this is great. R really? Yeah, better than expected, really, given how lazy you can get. Hey, even if I don't look like it, I take this seriously. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't look like it. But anyway, good job. I don't know about you guys, but that calls for a round of drinks, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Cheers. Cheers! Aw, thanks, guys. Now, on to more important matters. You said you didn't want to die a virgin, so... How's your love life? And <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, no. oh, yes. You see, I've been keeping my eyes and ears on you. Seems like some pretty interesting things have been happening. I didn't know you had a thing for girls in uniforms. I don't know what you're talking about. The nurse, kiddo. Is that why you like getting beat up during campaigns? I... Maybe. What? I like the dynamic. She's quiet, you're loud and obnoxious. And you're an ass. Hey, I'm kidding. Anyway, I'd like to give you some advice, but she's pretty elusive. Even for me. I don't know what to say. Maybe... You could try to get beat up more often? Haha! -ha. Very funny. What about you, boss? Got any advice for our little squire? Well, I don't know much about the nurse either. But I guess... Don't underestimate the quiet types? You never know what they're hiding. I'll keep that in mind, boss. <laughs> At least it's better than Hugh's advice. <laughs> hey! Ha! <laughs> no problem, lad. Anyway, that's all I wanted to ask you. Now what about you, boss? What have you been up to? Well, not much. But I've been wanting to try out some new recipes. Sweet! We can taste test them for you! Boss, if you need a refined palate, then you've found the right guy. You will? Thanks! I actually had this weird idea that might just work. <laughs> hey, boss! What is it, kid? I realize, after all these years, I never, <laughs> I, I never got your real name. And I intend to keep it that way. Ah, come on. <gasps> Boss can't be your real name. Maybe it is. Heck no. Then why don't you take a guess? Sure. But you only get to guess once. I'm a busy man, you know. I don't want to spend the whole night with his shenanigans. All right. All right. Okay. Is it Archibald Holster? Ha! <laughs> Not even close, lad. Damn it! I'll get it right next time, boss. I'm looking forward to that, kid.
<sighs> Been fixing your hair? It, there is one myth that I quite like. Have you ever heard of the myth of Masterink, the Slime King? Nope, but it sounds awesome. How does it go? There once was a king so cruel that his subjects dared not speak his name. So, what was his name? Jeremy. his enemies into a heated cauldron filled with molten wax, laughing as their bodies would melt into a fleshy paste. His knights eventually staged a rebellion, and when he was finally caught, they decided to give him a taste of his own medicine. They tossed him into the very cauldron that he used to claim so many lives. However, his spirit was so wicked that he survived even after his body had melted. A large blob of fleshy slime arose from the cauldron and escaped into the forest. Whoa! They say to this day, a master rink still wanders the forests of Cerulea, a giant slime with a crown on his head. Cool! So, Squire, do you understand the moral of the myth? All guys named Jeremy are assholes? What? No! Kill enough people and you get to live on as a badass slime monster? Of course not! I... got nothing. You are hopeless. Worthy gift, thank you. Did, uh, did she want to have a conversation? Ah, yes, the Lazat was. Uh, horrifying creatures, they nest deep beneath the sand and during mating season they fly up into the air they then inject their eggs into you and before you know it worms are erupting out of your belly okay that's actually a pretty sensible fear <laughs> i'm gonna have trouble sleeping tonight Then I'm all ears. Ah, uh, you're back. So sorry, I... I didn't see you there. Squire, I... I am starting to feel better already.
Thanks again, Giselle. I know you've been busy lately. No problem. Sis? What are you up to? Oh, hey, bro. Remember the vial I found on Mum's apron the other day? Oh, yeah. You here to have that thing checked? Yep. I thought it might be helpful to know what medicine she was taking. It always helps to have a good stock of medicine. You know, just in case I get sick again. All this time, I've been pretty stubborn about taking care of myself. But I figured, I'm always watching after you and Pops. I should also watch myself. After everything that's happened, I don't think you guys would ever forgive me if some sickness got the best of me. Whoa! Don't say that like it's nothing. Look who's talking, Mr. I'm a squire who's going off to fight the Gegners. Hey! <laughs> After our talk the other day, I realized that maybe it's okay to bring stuff like this out in the open. What do you mean? Just because you ignore something doesn't mean that it'll go away. Same goes for you, with the war coming up and all. If you can look at death straight in the eye and say, I got this, then I should do the same. Whoa! <laughs> when you put it that way, I seem pretty badass. Don't let it get to your head. I'll try. No promises, though. <laughs> but yeah, I've thought about it. I'm not going to be scared anymore. Sickness, war, I'll face it head on. Same here, sis. Woo! I feel pumped! Oh, <laughs> sorry, Giselle. Noisy. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Giselle. You too. Siblings? Yeah. Sort of. I see the resemblance. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Anyway. The medicine. Checked the medicine. Oh, and? Not ours. Wait, what? Never had this in stock. But... but how can that be? Where else would Mum get medicine? Don't know. That's... really weird. We'll attend to other patients. Oh, sure. Thanks, Giselle. You... okay, sis? Yeah, I just need to... find out more about this. Anyway, I'll see you, bro. Hello again. Glad you're here. So, remember what we talked about last time? Are there any other things you look for in a date? Smart. Also charming. Charming? Like how so? They'll do all the talking. Oh, I get where you're going with that. Is everything all right? No, it isn't, obviously. Oh, the Book of Sexual Pleasures was denied by a group of nobles who insist on keeping the archives pure and wholesome. <laughs> what? Aw, damn! Which is bullshit. We've already got lots of lewd stuff in the library. You just have to, you know, read between the lines. Those damn bureaucrats have probably never even read any of the books we have. And to think we worked so hard. I'm really sorry to hear that. 
People can be such prudes. Um, I do not understand. What is so wrong about the body that makes certain people ashamed to talk about it? It's kind of dumb. But I guess some people just don't like talking about it. People kind of prefer to just keep things like sex and stuff strictly in the bedrooms. There are so many unnatural things in this world. War, slavery, murder. But this is not one of them. It should not be. And yet such a topic is not fit for your library, while all of those other things are on rampant display. Hmm, when you put it that way. There is a saying in Alcos. Words may hurt the heart, but words unspoken will shatter the soul. If we are to understand each other, we need to be completely honest with our feet. Uh, then again, maybe I'm not one to criticize. Princess? I just need some time alone. Ah, F word. Working up a sweat. You're back. What can I do for you? Smells good. Well, Squire, who do you choose? Well, I choose you. Me? Really? There you go, folks. Here's your new lady of the lake, Bell Sharp. Woo! Any words before you begin your swim, Val? Well, I... Um, for my first decree as the new lady of the lake... Uh, free drinks for everyone? Woo! Well, it looks like we're having the after party a bit earlier. But for now, to the lake! There you have it! Bell now basks under the gaze of the fertility god! May his blessing bring you great fortune! Yeah! Thanks, everyone! My, how polite! Woo hey, Shrimp! Good job! That's Lady Shrimp to you, Judge! By the way, how'd you even get to be one of them? Well, they wanted someone with a good eye, so they chose me. Well... <laughs> like, I'll believe that. I do have one! You should be trashing the person who voted for you, you know. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. I gotta go. 
Hey, wait! Just a quick question before you leave. Oh, uh, sure? What was it like? Swimming in the lake, that is. You believe those stories? Now, I'm just curious. Well, there definitely was something... Hmm, how should I put it? It was like my head was clear. I felt so light. It's like when I saw the ocean for the first time when I was little. Um, did that make sense? Hey, that's more than enough. Glad to be of help, I guess. Anyway, I think they want me at the after party. More drinking. Again. Okay, I'll see you there! Hey, Belle. By the way, I wanted to ask you. Hmm? Bordemir. That was where you grew up, right? Yeah, it was. You ever miss it? Of course I do. There are just some things, no matter how hard you try to forget, they stick with you. Back then, I'd wake up to the sound of waves every morning. Mama would pack us a couple of loaves of bread, along with some dried fish. Then Papa would take me out to sea just as the sun was rising. We'd ride the winds far out to where the reefs were, and spend the day just casting our lines. And all the while, the waves would just push us. The boat would just go up and down, up and down, just like a lullaby rocking me to sleep. And even now, right as I'm waking up, a part of me still feels like I'm being rocked by the waves. Oh, I've never seen the sea before. But that sounds great. Well, you'll see it soon. War's coming up. Oh. Yeah. Pleasure. A 
Of course, there's the story of the first king of Cerulea. Legend has it that he was a humble one-armed fisherman who was perfectly content with his simple life. It is said that the fertility god was so impressed with his humility that he turned one of the lotuses of the lake into a marvelous castle. A kingdom was then built around the castle, which would later on be named as the Kingdom of Cerulea. Oh, what a lucky guy. Not really. Like I said, the poor man just wanted to live an ordinary life. The stress of managing a kingdom eventually drove him mad. So, Squire, what do you think is the moral of that story? The fertility god is kind of an asshole? No, it means that... Well, that's actually a good point. Though, I suppose most gods tend to be one way or another. plans for the future princess hmm I wouldn't mind starting a family though there are so many poor nations out in the world I've always just considered the idea of adopting children from poorer villages after all I did grow up in a family of 12 we can have races all the tournaments besides if I adopt I can make sure they are all girls <laughs> And I will give them the freedom to do whatever they please. Not only will I teach them the 12 secret stances of the art of combat, but they will all be given the opportunities they need to pursue their own personal dreams. That is provided uh, I find a suitable partner. Well, I'm sure you'll find one eventually. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe sooner than you think. That would be nice. But something like this? I hope you did not resort to selling your prized cow to acquire such an item. Hey, I've got my ways. I am sure you do. Thank you for the gift, Squire. I shall keep it safe. ones are devils. Well, I'm definitely an angel then. <laughs> Indeed you are. Again, I thank you for this gesture. Hopefully, I will be able to repay your kindness. Hey, no problem, princess.
Magic. Huh? Someone who can use magic. I don't think that's even possible. We'll go on magical adventures, riding brooms. Those are some pretty high standards you got there. Yes, only the best. What else do you remember about Bortimer? The fish! Seaside bass, royal blue tuna, bleed marlin, we'd catch them all. And afterwards, we'd sail back to the market to sell the fish. Oh, never heard of those types of fish before. Do saltwater fish taste better than the ones we have here? Way better. In fact, lots of foreigners would travel far and wide to sample our seafood. Visiting nobles would buy our fish and have them cooked right there on the spot. A seaside meal. Ah, the smell of salt, the taste of soft fish meat. Whoa. Mortimer seemed like a really cool place. It was. In fact, during its prime, people were saying that given a few years, it could have been a trade hub to rival even Elkos. Whoa, really? Yes. Even if it started out as a fishing village, a lot of trade ships ended up passing by. It wasn't long till our marketplace was booming with trade. Silk, spice, even weapons and armor. All kinds of merchants were docking on our shores. Oh, oh, Millie, we even had those shells. You know, the ones which glowed in the dark? Tourists loved them, even if they didn't have any real use. Yes, I remember. you'd wish to share, then I'm all ears. You're back. What can I do for you? Ah, you're back. So sorry, I... I didn't see you there. This is the result of your negligence, girl! My negligence? Well, from what I've heard, Marshal Flinkman, a certain noble has been inciting rebellion. All those innocents injured in the riots, if the man responsible for such things were caught, why, they'd face treason. You have no proof, child! Be careful of those accusations! The nerve of that man! Princess Beatrice! Sir Grant! Greetings. Greetings, Squire. Are you here for a checkup? Oh, I was just dropping by, Princess. What about you? I am here to aid the infirmary. They are currently treating those who were hurt during the riot days ago. No one deserves this, whether they supported the Alliance or not. 
I see. Since you are here, Squire, would you kindly assist Sir Grand and I? Of course, Princess. I wish you a speedy recovery, Guardsman. You have served the realm well. Thank you, Your Highness. Need a break, Princess? You did see a lot of our men today. No, it is not that. I was just thinking that at my command, people could live or die. After seeing all these wounded people, I still cannot fathom how my father handled seeing such consequences. He was always so stern and resolute. I, on the other hand, well, you saw how I handled my first riot. This is the burden of those who rule, Princess. You must face it and act. It is as you say, Sir Grant. I cannot let the Marshal go unanswered for this mess. I cannot let this happen again. Then you must make a decision soon, Your Highness. Yes. Yes, I should. I have to secure my place in this world. Just like Father taught me. I have to. The Marshal and his men. I must. I must take action. They must be dealt with. Princess, are you really gonna... Yes. It must be done. It is hard, Princess. Seeing Cerulean's fight Cerulean's. But you've got to do what you have to. Yes. I must. Are you worried? Perhaps. Yet, like I said, there is no other way. I never imagined the first few days of my queenship to be like... this. The same goes for me, Princess. But we're here for you. Father, forgive me for letting such things happen to our legacy. I shall strive to do better. Princess, come on now. Don't put yourself down like that. Thank you for the concern. But I need to be more resolute if I want to follow in his footsteps. He worked so hard to pave the way for me. All I need to do now is follow it. I see. Just don't forget about yourself, okay? Myself? There will be time for that soon enough. But for now... I have inherited Cerulea itself. Much is expected of me. Now, I must get back to my duties. I thank you for accompanying me. Always at your service, Princess. Please, be quick about it, Squire. I... I am busy. You've heard about the origin of Cerulea, yes? About how the fertility god cried upon the earth and created a great lake. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't it his spit? Ah, yes. Many religious scholars have debated on the matter. In fact, the debate was so intense that it caused a religious schism. The war lasted years. Thousands of lives were lost. To this day, there exists the Order of the Tear and the Order of the Spit. So, which one do you believe in? If I had to choose, I'd choose the one that doesn't dunk their followers in a bucket of saliva as a form of initiation. But honestly, I couldn't care less about such matters. I swear, a lake is a lake. I couldn't care less about how it got there. That's true. Tears. Spit. For all we know, it could have been his piss. I would prefer not to think about how an order of piss would stage their initiation rituals.
possible! Unfortunately, those are the only leads we have, Your Highness. And I'm saying that's impossible! Only the royal family has the keys to those rooms! Hmm. We're stuck then. Unless my squire can tell us something. Huh? Huh? What did I do? Why don't you tell us? Huh? Sorry, Princess. I really don't get it. There's been a robbery. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're kidding! Here? Indeed. And some important military documents have been taken from the castle archives. Maps, old scrolls, books, even the last surviving copy of the five treatises of Cerulean military expeditions! With the war this close, I do not want to think what would happen if those fell into the wrong hands. Hold on a sec! I ain't a suspect, am I? You might as well be, seeing as you haven't answered my question. Now, now, Princess. No need to be hasty. We'll find those missing records soon. Well, we certainly won't if we keep dallying here. Patience, Milady. Let me handle this. <laughs> Squire, you're one of those assigned to patrol this way. Notice anything weird in the past few days? Nuh-uh! If I did, I would have reported it already! Are you sure? Really, really sure? I do know how to do my job, okay? Your reaction is most suspicious. He isn't lying, Your Highness. I know this kid. There's no way he'd be able to understand those books. Then where do we look? I haven't even been crowned, and yet... Let's not lose hope, alright? I'm pretty sure it'll all turn up soon. We haven't checked the other wing yet. Maybe Sir Grand and the other knights can also help. Only Sir Grand and a few guards. Let us keep the circle small for now, Sir Hugh. Uh, wouldn't it be better if there are more of us looking? We... We cannot let other people know about this yet. With the war getting close, it would only cause panic, especially among the nobility. Uh, of course, Your Highness. As you wish. <sighs> Thank you. Make sure that everyone involved are kept silent. The last thing I need is Lord Drake finding out. That man has ways to get people to talk. I'll go help her out. If you find anything weird, let us know. Anything weird? Right. Gotcha. You know, it'd be nice if you could give me something more to work with. Castle's already weird at night! You know, last time I was on the evening watch, I... Anything weird. Right. Gotcha. Did I know what? I, uh... <laughs> you okay there, kiddo? You're spacing out. Yeah, I, uh... I gotta get going. You, you, um, go after Princess Beatrice like you said you would. See ya! <laughs> Princess Kamala! Wait! Squire? What brings you here? I, uh... <sighs> oh. Actually... Esquire? Uh, do you need anything? There's been a robbery, Your Highness! What? But where? Here. Inside the castle. Princess Beatrice! 
Oh, oh my! Is Shadi all right? Are you all right? I'm fine. We're fine. No one's hurt. Yeah, but Princess Beatrice said the thief stole some stuff from the king's study. Oh. I... I suppose that is a bad thing, is it not? I reckon Beatrice said it is where they keep Cerulea's most important scrolls. Yeah, so... Um, I was just wondering if you... You know... Might have seen anything... Or have an idea... An idea? Uh, yeah. About what exactly? Well... You see, we bumped into each other during my patrol before, so we thought... You thought what? S sorry, I, I didn't mean... What is it that you mean, then? I was just wondering, just wondering, I swear! Wondering? Wondering about. Oh, well, you know. We saw each other that night, and you said you were reading the castle archives. We saw each other that night, so therefore I am a suspect? Is that what you are trying to say? something unfortunately I do not <laughs> uh, I see of course I knew that <laughs> I mean doing a lot of good here see if that kid you also helped out lady Taliha with that spice one more make the right decisions, princess. Will that be all? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's all. I guess... I guess I'll just ask someone else about it. Of course. Then excuse me. I have other business to attend to. Have a good day, squire. Manages a stall, does she not? Yep, best buys in the kingdom. Hmm. Now that I think of it, I wouldn't mind dipping my hands into business every once in a while. Oh, there are so many young upstarts that have the skills for brand new ideas and products. I once saw a man who tried making a looming spinning wheel that could make clothes on its own. Sadly, he went bankrupt. His idea never to see success. If I could fund such genius, the world would definitely be a better place. Well, I'm sure my sister's got lots of cool ideas. You should try talking to her sometime. Indeed, I will. much to me, Squire. Thank you. Hey, 
baby? What you up to? Nothing much. Just trying to figure out what the deal is with this. Oh, your mom's medicine, huh? Yeah. Giselle said that they never had anything like it in stock. So where would mom even get this? Figured the archives might have the answer. Been reading up on some of these books. Maybe it's something else. I mean, the vial does look pretty fancy. Hmm. Oh my! You seem to be busy. Squire, I have never seen you around so many books. Is everything alright? Oh! Are we having an experiment? I have not done something like this for a while. Princess Kamala? Well, um, actually, I'm not really... I'm just looking into this medicine. Medicine? You are feeling ill, then? Not really. I'm just sort of trying to figure out what it is. Ooh! An alchemic mystery! How exciting! May I have a look? strange smell for a medicine. If I may, there is a certain trick I have learned when dealing with mysterious substances, though I will need a sample. Really? Do you think you might know what it is then? We shall see. Y yeah, sure. Hmm. Th thanks so much, by the way. I, I really appreciate it. It is no problem. After all, you have been so hospitable to me. Alvat nal shiret. Let favors be passed around, friends. F friend Yes. Is that not what we are? Y yeah, I guess we are. Now, I just need a bit of gold. Ah, this will do. Princess Kamala! That's your jewelry! You sure it's alright to use that? Looks expensive. <laughs> what good is gold if it is meant to just look pretty when beauty finds itself a practical function? That is how you know that you have really struck a bargain. Aria Hashkar, aged and diluted, but there it is. Huh? Or See the bubbles rising from the bottom? Also, look at the black stains forming on the gold. Certain substances are harmless on their own, but when prepared a certain way, mixed with the right ingredients, they can become quite deadly. What are you saying? I fear your mystery medicine is in fact poison, though there has always been a blurry line between the two. That which cures can also kill when prepared by a skilled hand. I'm... No way! Are you sure, Princess? Without a doubt. I am familiar with such things. As a princess, to separate remedy from malady is an important skill. You never know whether the next glass of wine will be your last. Though the poison in this vial is diluted, I have seen certain mixtures which can cripple a man within seconds. No, that... that can't be... Yes. That means... Is everything all right? Thank you so much, Princess. I really mean it. But I just... I just need to gather my thoughts right now. Amy! I'll go after her. Uh, thanks for your help, Princess. Squire, it is none of my business. 
so I will ask no further questions. We all have our secrets after all. But I urge you to be careful. Matters of poison often lead to dangerous people. Please keep safe. Sh sure thing! Amy! She wasn't taking medicine. She was taking poison. Someone must have... This means that... Mom... Mom was... Mom was killed. Hey. You know what? You're usually pretty brave most of the time. But what kind of stuff are you afraid of? Why are you asking? planning on pulling some kind of prank on me, are you? Nah, I'm just curious. But, now that you mention it... <laughs> just try me, bro. Though... Mm, stuff I'm afraid of... Huh! I got one! Have you ever heard of mimics? They're these monsters that look like ordinary objects. Then, when you've got your guard down, they grow teeth and eat you! Those aren't real! They are too! Anything can be a mimic! A chair, a potted plant, a pie, even your underwear! Nothing is sacred! Nothing is safe! Oh, and don't get me started on toilet mimics! They're the worst! To this day, my heart skips a beat every time I use the bathroom! You just never know. back. You're awesome. 